Hi everyone! Welcome to Engineered Math. In this video, I will teach you about subtraction of integers. So before we start with this topic, we need to have the knowledge on how to add integers as a prerequisite for this topic since we're gonna use whatever we learn from the addition of integers in this video. So I already have a previous video about addition of integer. So if you haven't watched yet about that, I will just link the video on the description so you can check it first. Okay? So going back, in subtraction of integers, just like in addition of integers, we will just follow a simple rule. So the rule is that we have to change the sign of the subtrahend and change the operation to addition. So from this rule, we see that once we have changed the sign of the subtrahend, we will change the operation to addition. That's why, like what I've said, we will need the knowledge on the addition of integers. Okay? So as I recall, I will also write the rules for addition of integers. So here we consider two cases. That is when we are adding like signs, either both positive or both negative integers, and when we are adding unlike signs. So when we add one negative and one positive integer. So for like signs, the rule is we need to add the absolute value of the integers and copy the same sign. And for the unlike signs, we need to subtract the integer with the smaller absolute value from the larger and copy the sign of the integer with the larger absolute value. Okay? So the most important thing here that we need to know is the concept of absolute value, which I already discussed in the previous video about addition of integers. Wherein, in a number line, the absolute value of a number is the distance of that number from the coordinate 0 or origin. So, we will always get the positive value for the absolute value of a number because it refers to the distance and there's no such thing as negative distance, right? So, to find the absolute value of any integer, either positive or negative, we'll just need to consider what is the number and disregard the sign or just make it always positive, okay? So, to illustrate the rules on subtraction of integers, let's solve some examples. So, let's say we have 5 minus 2. So, obviously, without knowing the rules for subtraction of integers, we can have the answer this as 3, right? But if we try to apply the rules in subtraction of integers, that is, the first step is we need to change the sign of the subtrahend. So, the subtrahend is the number to be subtracted from the minuend, right? Or it is the number that follows the minus operation. So, therefore, in this problem, 2 is the subtrahend. And therefore, we need to revert its sign. So, if it's positive, we will make it negative. Or if it's negative, we will make it positive. So, since there's no specific sign in 2, it means that it has the invisible positive sign. So, therefore, it is positive. So, therefore, from positive, we will make it negative. So, we have negative 2. And then, from the second step, we just need to change the operation to addition. So, this minus operation will now be addition. And then, let's just copy 5. So, therefore, we have the new expression, which is 5 plus negative 2. So, under the rule for addition of integers, it falls under subtraction of unlike signs, right? Because... 1 is positive and 1 is negative. So based on the rule in addition of unlike signs, we need to get the absolute value of the two numbers involved and we will subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value and then we just need to copy in the final answer the sign of the integer with the larger absolute value. So doing that, we will get the absolute value of 5 which is 5 and we will get also the absolute value of negative 2, which is 2. So remember again that the absolute value of the number is the distance of that number from the origin. So therefore, it must be always positive. So in getting absolute value, we will just consider the number involved and treat its sign to be always positive, even if it's negative in the year. Okay? So therefore, from this, we know that 2 is smaller than 5. So we need to subtract 2 from 5. So we have 5 minus 2 or 3. Last thing to consider is the sign of the final answer. So based on the rule, we will follow the sign of the integer with larger absolute value. So obviously, 5 is the integer with the larger absolute value. So initially, we have the sign of 5 as positive, right? So we will need to copy this positive sign to the final answer. So we have positive 3 or simply 3. 
Okay? Next, let's say we have this time 3 minus 10. So again, following the steps for subtraction of integers, we need to change the sign of the subtrahend. So it's positive 10, so we will make it negative 10. And then change the operation to addition, copy 3. So now we have 3 plus negative 10, and it falls under addition of unlike signs. So we need to get the absolute value of 3, which is 3, and the absolute value of negative 10, which is 10. So obviously, 3 is smaller than 10, so we will subtract 10 minus 3, which is equal to 7. But on the final answer, we must follow the sign of the integer with the larger absolute value. Obviously, it is negative 10, right? So since it is negative, we will copy the negative sign on our final answer, so we have negative 7. Okay? Next, let's say we have 7 minus negative 8. Again, we need to change the sign of the subtrahend, which is negative 8. So since it's negative, we will make it positive 8. And then, change the operation to addition, just copy 7. So we have now 7 plus 8. So this time, it falls under the rule of addition of like signs, since they are both positive integers. So based on the rule of addition of like signs, we just need to add the absolute value of the two integers and copy the same sign. So getting the absolute value of 7, we have 7. And getting the absolute value of 8, we have 8. We just need to add them. So 7 plus 8 is 15. But since the integers are both positive, we will need to copy the positive sign to the final answer. So we have positive 15 or simply 15. Okay? Next, we have negative 4 minus 6. So again, we need to change the sign of the subtrahend. This time, it's positive 6. So we will make it negative 6. And then copy negative 4. Then change the operation to addition. So in this case, we have negative 4 plus negative 6. So it falls under addition of like signs because they are both negative. So getting the absolute value of the two numbers, we have absolute value of negative 4 is 4. And absolute value of negative 6 is 6. We just need to add them. So 4 plus 6 is 10. But since the given integers are both negative, the final answer should also be negative. So we have negative 10. Okay? Next, let's say we have negative 7 minus negative 1. Okay, so this time we will change the sign of subtrahend, which is negative 1. So we will make it positive 1. Then copy negative 7 and proceed to addition. So this time we have negative 7 and we have positive 1. So therefore, we have unlike signs. So getting the absolute value of negative 7, we have positive 7. Absolute value of positive 1, still 1. Since 1 is smaller than 7, we need to subtract 1 from 7. So we have 7 minus 1 or 6. So the final sign of 6 will follow the sign of the integer with the higher absolute value. Obviously, it is negative 7. So therefore, the final answer should be negative 6. Okay? Next, let's say we have negative 4 minus negative 2. So copy negative 4, change the operation to addition, and then change the sign of the subtrahend. So since it's negative 2, we will make it positive 2. So therefore, we have negative 4 plus positive 2. So again, they are unlike signs. So we will get the absolute value of negative 4, which is 4. Absolute value of positive 2, which is 2. So since 2 is smaller than 4, we will subtract 4 minus 2 or it is equal to 2. So since negative 4 has the larger absolute value, we will follow its sign which is negative to the final answer. So we have negative 2. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, subtraction of integers. So I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.